Stelios Papadopoulos, PhD, Chairman of the Board at Biogen, one of the pioneering companies in the United States in neuroscience, was the recipient of the 2021 Life Achievement Award during the annual testimonial dinner on September 24th, organized by the Federation of Cypriot American Organizations in Queens, New York. Dr. Papadopoulos was honored for his lifetime entrepreneurial achievements and for his philanthropy. The event was attended by several Greek and Greek Cypriot dignitaries, officials and diplomats, and members of the Greek and Greek Cypriot American community, while the keynote speaker was once again this year the president of Cyprus, Nikos Anastasiadis, who earlier in the day had addressed the general debate of the 76th session of the UN General Assembly. Which aim to raise in his opening remarks, President Anastasiadis extended his thanks outmost uh, appreciation and praise to the members of the Greek and Greek Cypriot American community for their ongoing support and for their lobbying efforts in the U.S. for a just and viable solution to the Cyprus problem, which stretched back to 1974 when Turkey illegally invaded Cyprus, resulting in the division and continued occupation of the island. Referring to his efforts to resume the negotiations for a settlement, President Anastasiadis said that he was not very optimistic, considering the narrative Turkish Cypriot leader Ersin Tatar is now promoting for a two-state solution. In line with the rhetoric of Turkey, Tatar proclaims that all efforts in reaching a compromise have failed and we should now seek solutions outside the UN framework, the president added. He stressed, however, that no blackmails, threats, or pressure can be accepted, and he reassured all of his will and determination to solve the Cyprus problem based on principles that will lead to a functional and viable solution that will also safeguard the independence of the island. Prior to the award presentation, there were greeting messages from Nikos Pafidis, the chairman of the event, Kiriakos Papastilianou, the president of the Federation, and Philip Christopher, the president of the International Coordinating Committee Justice for Cyprus and of the Pan-Cyprian Association. In their remarks, all speakers, after acknowledging and thanking everyone in attendance, also congratulated President Anastasiadis for his speech earlier at the United Nations and furthermore offered a special praise to the honoree Dr. Papadopoulos for his unique entrepreneurial accomplishments and contributions in the areas of medicine, investments and acquisitions, as well as for his philanthropy which extends to Cyprus. Referring to the Cyprus problem, all speakers also stress that they do not support a two-state solution as recently proposed by the Turkish Cypriot side and reiterated their commitment to continue their advocacy in the U.S. to see Cyprus reunited through a just, viable and lasting solution that guarantees the freedoms and equal rights of all Cypriots within the principles of the EU without any foreign interventions and dependencies and without the system of guarantees, the right of intervention of, by Turkey and the presence of Turkish troops. The honoree Stelios Papadopoulos was born and raised in Thessaloniki, Greece. His father comes from Pontos and his mother from a family that had immigrated to Greece from Asia Minor in 1923, a year following the 1922 Smyrna catastrophe. He holds uh, degrees in math, physics and business. A former investment banker with a focus in the sectors of uh, biotechnology and pharmaceuticals, he joined the board of directors of Biogen in 2008, and since June 2014, he serves as chairman. It's because there's a better place here. During his so acceptance okay. speech, Papadopoulos stressed that he immigrated to the United States seeking the American dream. This country, he noted, is indeed the land of opportunity, stressing that all you need is to set your goals and then work hard with determination to accomplishment. I am a living example of the American dream, he added. His close ties with the Greek Cypriot American community began, he said, when he joined the United Cyprians soccer team as a player in the late 60s while living in New York City. 
Since then, he has made many close friends with whom he still keeps ties and, pandemic permitting, gets together to play soccer. <laughs> Referring to his association with Biogen, Babadopoulos said that it was his career in investment banking that led him to this company. Since its founding in 1978, Biogen is considered one of the world's first global biotechnology companies seeking to defeat devastating neurological diseases through innovative scientific research. Elaborating further on Biogen, Babadopoulos said that this company holds a leading portfolio of medicines for the treatment of multiple sclerosis and is at the forefront in the research of new medicines for the treatment of neurological conditions and rare genetic disorders. Using novel science and leading technologies, Biogen creates, commercializes, and manufactures transformative uh, therapies for patients with few or no treatment options, he added. Papadopoulos also proudly referred to the most recent accomplishment of uh, Biogen to get approval from the U.S. Uh, Food and Drug Administration, FDA for short, for its new drug that can treat Alzheimer's disease at its early stages. This is the first new therapy approved for the neurogenerative disorder in nearly two decades that is now offering hopes for a better life to millions of patients as it could treat the Alzheimer's disease at its early stages. In the nonprofit uh, sector, Dr. Papadopoulos is a member of the board of visitors of Duke Medicine and a member of the Global Advisory Board of the Duke Institute for Health Innovation. In 2000, along with Dr. Ardavani Sagonas, he co-founded Foundation Santé, where he serves as chairman since its inception. The foundation, he said, provides mentorship and research grants to uh, biomedical scientists in Greece and in Cyprus. The Federation of Cypriot American Organizations is a nonprofit umbrella organization representing some 28 Greek Cypriot American organizations located throughout the United States. Its mission is to develop good relations and solidarity amongst its chapters, promote their common goals, represent their common interests, and coordinate their common social, educational, philanthropic, and cultural activities. Among other activities, the Federation also undertakes and promotes in the United States charitable activities within the Cypriot American and Greek American communities, preserves and promotes the Greek language, including the culture and heritage of Cyprus. The annual testimonial dinner of the Federation of Cypriot American Organizations is held every September in New York City. Among the many past recipients of the Federation's award include the current U.S. President Joe Biden when he was serving as a United States Senator.